Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, that is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I'm here to do my buzzword readathon TBR for 2022. I hesitated at first to do this since I failed it spectacular since I failed it spectacularly last year. However, I was also doing it kind of in conjunction with a friend to kind of see, oh, hey, what are you reading? What are you coming up with for these prompts? And I think that's how it failed so miserably because <laughs> she did not do any of the prompts. And I was very disappointed. It's no fun when you're expecting someone to do it with you and they don't. So this year I'm just doing it for myself. And I'm happy to report that out of the 12 prompts, 11 I found on my physical TBR shelf. So it's this one right behind me and like one over here. And that's really exciting but since I basically stated in my goals that I wanted to read at least 12 books off my shelf. This is helping at least with 11 of them. Just working down the list. Starting with January, the prompt is the five W's. So from what I understand, that is the question words. And I chose, I love it when you talk retro. So I got the win. And from what I understand, this is going through old slang. So like if you watch the old black and white 1930s movies, this is slang that you would hear in these, in those movies, or if you read the books. For example, I once read Dashiell Hammett's The Thin Man, because I really liked that movie with William Powell and Myrna Loy, and some of the slang was just unusual. And I'm sure in 50 years, people will look back at the slang of my youth in the 1990s and be like, yeah, your slang was really unusual as well. So I, this is going to be a fun read, I think. I like language. Then in February, the prompt is pronouns or possessive words. And I chose you were made for this because you is a pronoun. And from and this is actually a book I won a long time ago as a Goodreads giveaway and then never got around to reading. It sounds like it's a more of a thriller book, if I remember right about two families meeting and then not everything is as it seems. If it's not a thriller, it's def definitely contemporary fiction. I've been considering taking it off my shelf, but I figured, hey, I will try it in February. And if it, if I don't end up reading it, then that's, that's the final. It, it just needs to leave because I'm not going to. So the prompt for March is locations. And for that, I chose The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. Because what, from what I understand, that is a place a location within the book and I've been needing to read this or finish this for a while now. This is the second book and the Mistborn first trilogy so I've just read The Final Empire the first book in the Mistborn trilogy. I haven't continued onwards. In April the prompts are size words so big and little that sort of thing and I found the perfect prompt for that in Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. I believe I have read this before, but if I did, it it was it was definitely before 2012. So I'm not actually certain. That being said, I figured I'll, I'll try it again. I know I've watched the movies and enjoyed it. Might as well try reading this again. If I have actually read it before. So month of May is the only one I don't have a physical copy for. And the prompt is directions. And for that, I have chosen star sight by Brandon Sanderson. And I did look up the definition of star sight. It actually is a direction that people use or have used. So it works perfectly. And that is his second book in his Skyward series. So it looks like in 2022, I'm definitely going to be working on some more Brandon Sanderson books, which I'm okay. I mean, these are the series I like so far anyway. So in the month of June, the prompt is the word all. And I have chosen All the Tides of Fate by Adeline Grace. This is number two in her series. And I also won this in a Goodreads giveaway last year, actually. And I read the first book last year and I never got around to reading the second one. So I would like to read the second one and find out what happens. And this is set in a world where 
the kingdom is different islands and the different islands have a specific power. And if you have that power, you live on that island. And, and it ends up that that's not the way it should have been. And so we're dealing with that fallout, I believe, in the second book. For July, the prompt is book-related words. And how more on the nose can you get than the book of Genevieve? This is another Goodreads giveaway that I, I won many, many years ago. And I know this is book two in the series, but if I remember right, the author has said you don't have to read them in order. So I'm just going to go ahead and read this one. And I believe that this might even be a self-published book, which would be cool. I would get to read more self-published works. For August, the prompt is items. So that is something. And I have chosen The Time Machine by H.G. Wells because a machine is an object. Or in the specific instance, time machine is an object. And I know that I've tried reading this before and I kind of bounced off of it, but I'm a different reader now, so I want to try it again and we'll see if I like it or not. So September, the prompt is light and dark. And then for that, I've chosen The Dark Wind by Tony Hillerman. What I understand this is kind of, or this series is cops, or this series is like a murder mystery series following a officer on the Navajo reservation or is working, he's part of the Navajo tribal police. And this is actually a book that my husband got recently. It's something that he had read uh, younger and he wanted to reread them. So if it's my prompt, this is actually number four in the series. So hopefully I will be able to read the first three. So I'll be ready for this in September. All right. So in the month of October, the prompt is creatures and animals. And for that, surprisingly, I did not have that in the title or a lot of animals like animals on books, yes, like pictured, but not actually in the title. So that was a little bit more interesting, but I finally did find one. And that was Bring Me a Unicorn by Anne Morrow Lindbergh. While a unicorn is a creature, I believe this is actually a memoir. Anne Morrow Lindbergh is the wife of Charles Lindbergh. So the month of November, you need to have ing or ing as part of your title. And I was like, I still really need to finish digging for Richard the third. I mean, I'm like a third of the way into the book. Yeah, there we go. And I'm enjoying it. I just need to pick up more nonfiction. And then last is December and the prompt is numbers. And for that, I have chosen 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. And this is actually one of the books that is on my Mooks and Gripes bucket book list. So I figured Hey, perfect. And it has numbers in it. So I don't really know much about it. I just know a lot of people say it's a literary classic. And we shall see. Those are the books that I have chosen for the 2022 Buzzword Readathon. Are you doing this readathon? And if so, what are your choices? Thank you and have a great day.